2000 Looney Tunes boxers. Alien Wizard, 1997. That was a crazy good sale. We got a ton of stuff. <laughs> That's Escher. I know, it was Escher. I saw you picked it up from a distance. Whoa. Mondays, am I right? I know she does this thing where she likes to go into the guest room and bark at nothing. What are you barking at? There's nothing happening. This? Is it this? What is it? What are you barking at? Shh. No barking. No barking. No barking with that little bowed out face. Huh? What are you barking at? Tell the people, are there ghosts in here? Are there ghosts? What are you barking at, Bodog? Look at your funny face. Today is Wednesday, it's 11.21 a.m. And on Wednesdays, we usually like to go hit thrift stores in our yes. in our area. And uh, today we drove out to Lakeland, which is about, what, 35, 40 minutes from us? Yeah, it's like 40 minutes from us. 40 minutes, and in this area, there's three thrift stores that we like to hit. The first one is a Lighthouse Family Store. The second one is a Salvation Army Store, which is a half-off store. Yes. And then the what third is, is a Goodwill. So that's the little route that we make. Yeah. And that's what we're doing today. Let's see what's here. Also, shout out 90s anime cartoons. Yeah. We're all 90s anime today. Yay. Oh, I like your little necklace too. They got sparkles. Very cool. Sparkles, sparkles. Sparkles. All right, let's go. Yeah, this lighthouse store is popping for Wednesday. Dang. I've never seen this store so busy. Yeah. Hey everyone, comment on this video if your parents saved. Oh my god. And or if you were a parent that saved the Welch's That's jelly right, it was the jars. juice. It there was jelly. jelly. Oh. There was jelly. And then you would save these and then they were little cups for your kids. I remember drinking out of those. Oh yeah, my parents That's saved funny. them all. And then they put them in the dishwasher and over the years they all faded. That's pretty cool. I know. I'm pretty sure we have this one. Not much here. I did find these. They're Crocs hiking boots. What? Yeah. I wonder if they're comfy. Good condition. Crocs are comfy. $13. I think yeah. we could flip them for like 50, 60. Well, that's great. Yeah. You're that's finding an older all the juice chair. Oh, Tom and Jerry. That's a Tom and Jerry. Uh, I think we can get 40 bucks for both of these. No $2. way. <laughs> You think yeah. we can get $40 for, both for them? For them together, because it's a matching pair. Why? They're very nice, high quality. They're needlepoint pillows. They take a very long time to make. People want them. The reason I know people want them is because I went online to buy some, and they were too expensive. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to be buying those. I could do this in a minute. Never. <laughs> Two <laughs> minutes. Could do this in never. Oh, those are good ones. There's a set of six of them. I just thought it was cool. And Dang. they're in perfect condition. Five bucks a piece? Oh, that's not for the set? I don't oh think my so. God. Yeah. <laughs> They look pretty cool though. I sit there for a long time. Yeah. This thrift store has gotten a little greedy. I think I saw them. Can you grab these for me? Do you have the card? I think I saw them put out some Harley boots over here quick. Let's see. They are $17. Side zip or inside zip Harley oh, boots. Oh, like 17 Yeah, and they're really peeling. That nah. It's a kid size large. Oh no, shout out Justin. <laughs> Justin. Anyone named Justin who watches us. And then I That's just thought funny. that this was fun. Oh. Look at that fat Tulex tag. I love that you call it a Tulex tag. Tulex. Toltex. Tulex. I know. It's like a, a homemade shirt. That's funny. These Toltex tags, though, they're like thick. Yeah, they're fatty. I saw that and I was like, all right. Nice. What's that one? I just thought it was fun because I wanted to hey. show everyone, like, look at all these reprints, right? Like, that's a really cool reprint. I like it. It's actually. And feel it. It's like almost a puff. Yeah, they faded it nice too. We might want to get it as a giveaway. It's a medium. Five bucks. Maybe not though. Five dollars. Look at Whitney. The it's cool. If it had I just a back. I to show it to you. Yeah, it has no back here. So I'll go put these back. But. Very cool. So just the croc boots and Ellie's pillows and yeah. whatever that is. I think we should get $40 <laughs> for both of them I'm together. I'm excited. Though. They're really nice. And they have the zipper. Oh, because it's half off. Maybe we wow. should. Wow. Jeez. Forgot. Wednesday's half off. Oh like my Saturdays. gosh. I know, but like, what's going on? People are not working anymore? Everyone's no. just flipping stuff on eBay? I think a bunch of people just reselling? A bunch Maybe? of YouTubers ruining the markets, yeah. shouting out all the good spots. Hey, everyone go shop at Salvation Army Lakeland Family Store. <laughs> yeah, let's point. skip it. Let's go to Goodwill. Okay. Sorry about skipping Savos, but when it's that busy, we choose not to go. It's one of the cool things about what we do. We can choose where we want to go. Yeah, what if someone tries to fight us? <laughs> what if some what if there's a hat someone tries to fight us for? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. That's, that That's, other shirt. 
But this one has giraffes. Is it the same brand? I think it might be. Oh, I kind of love it. The other one is on the back too, though. No, this one's not. That's cool. I do like that shirt. That's a good comp on this. This is interesting. Gore-Tex. They're mediums, but they look like larges to me. They're big. To go over. Yeah. Yeah, they're like snowboard pants. I think that these are over forty dollar pants. You think so? I mean, I'm looking at all these comps. They're good. Hey, yeah, grab they're them. like really good. That's, That's fine, not babe. so good. Though. That's a different style. But then they have this. Okay. Nice. Good, okay. good job. Good job. That is really cool. I'll show the people. That's so cool. What a good idea for a book. Dang. If I was a kid, I'd love this. I know. I would just flip through it over and over and over and over again. They're boxers. 2000 Looney Tunes boxers. I think you have another red pair. <laughs> Do I? Looney Tunes boxers. These are hilarious. Could you make them into something? Could we add like a cool pocket to them and then they'll be shorts? I guess so, yeah. I could totally wear them as shorts. Stitch that Those together. Those are great summer <laughs> shorts. <laughs> Yeah, they're sick. So I found something, yeah. but I actually found four somethings. Max Fly. I almost want to say this is a sample. They're five dollars. It is single so stitch. So strange. Yeah. Max Fly, the spirit of golf. Yeah, they're all the same on different blanks, but I'm gonna get them because you yeah, know, golf stuff is pretty good right now. Oh, you found nice. It's that trip brand, but usually they're like you know much more over Wild. the top. <laughs> yeah, someone might want a simpler pair. I don't even know what I would call these. One, two. Okay. I really think that these are Spanx. Do Spanx say Spanx anywhere else? Those are nice Not ones. Not the pleather ones. Those are keepers. It's too hard to sell when there's no tag. <laughs> there's gotta be some Maybe other branding somewhere on Spanx. Look at that stitch. Look at that stitching. Zero blends right in with the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Allie's got on the tie-dye today. What earrings are you grabbing there, love? There she is. You can just see her back and her butt. <laughs> hey. You got these earrings in? Okay. Nice. I'm going to just wear some bangles. Bang and bangles, huh? Bangles. By the time this video goes out, that 100,000 plaque might be 200,000. Hey! Ah. But she wants this. Good morning. She would destroy that. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> How's your day going? Good. This alien. What are you? Whoa. Babe, hey, look at this alien. Which way is it? This way? Oh, whoa. Allie. Oh. Alien Wizard, 1997. Kind of want that. Do you ever. A dollar? Okay, cool. The most recent three. Oh, it's a for real. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Nice. Shout out Angie for being like toys for kids. Look for the animatronics. <laughs> Very nice, babe. Only a dollar. Even if it's sold for less than the highest comp, it's still yeah. really, it, over a $20 profit is great. Yeah. I got this Keith. I thought it was, I first thought it was um, Kurt Cobain. <laughs> yeah, because oh I just gosh. saw the head. But it's not. It's I can see over. why if you saw the K in the hair. Yeah, it is the world tour. And then I got the alien for a dollar. Babies. Oh my gosh. Babies. Baby Sandhill Crane, they're getting bigger. Look how big it is now. Oh. Awkward. Uh, <laughs> where's your mom? Oh, look at teaching them how to eat. It's oh, feeding my gosh. It says eat. Look at it learning. They are very cute. I see a very Ryan thing. Oh, toilet? Toilet. I love it. Let's go. I was going to ask you if those are pickle balls. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. I almost want to give you the point for that. No, get in. I almost want to give you the point for that. Oh, yeah. This is from 1966. No way. Okay, look. Yeah, the copyright. Learn about birds. 1966. Hmm. How cool that oh, that's art pretty is, cool. it? This is a really nice one. Birds. How much for the balls? They're a dollar a box. A dollar? Is that too high? No, that's great. <laughs> Were there any more? Just these ones? Oh, you got more. Let's go. Oh. That was the only two. I'll take the okay. two. Cool. Thank you. you. Like go to Walmart, try some suckers. Oh yeah. I like. I bet. Look at these. Oh. Oh, you color them in. That's so cool. 
I don't know if it's the whole set, but it's pretty sweet. It's rabbit. I have a rabbit coat. <laughs> it was five dollars at a thrift store, and I felt terrible that it was there. You look so Russian. Look, I got Harry Potter books. Oh cool! Oh, you found something else. Yeah. Oh, yay. oh the canopy. Yay! Ready? Yes. Good luck, My hands got full. Like, Good to see you again, man. Thank you. See you again. Uh, I know you told me two dollars painting, but yeah. you didn't give us prices on this stuff yet. Okay. So how about like we got two, one, two, three, four, five, and three, thirteen bucks. In the hat, she's like, in the hat. In the hat. Fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That was a crazy good sale. We got a ton of stuff. <laughs> uh, it's hard to film in there because it was so crazy. It was but... insane in there. People left because they like I can't handle this. Look at you. <laughs> um, let's get all the stuff home and then we'll show you what we got. There's a front spot. Oh, no, there. I messaged my girl group and my girls got my back and they said like 115 it's seven I should get it Whoa. it's definitely handmade like you can you can tell uh, nice fabric choices nice color I'll check it make sure there's no like gaping holes in it because you never know when it's folded on the hanger but it's gorgeous beautiful piece we still have all those other quotes we got a list too oh, yeah. well they only go up and down so. We'll have a quote listing day. What's oh, that? Look at this. Full color Gilbert Williams. Oh, those are. I hate those I know. so is much. This a thing? I gotta look it up. Oh my gosh. I ran back to grab the quilt. <laughs> That's yeah. like my least favorite kind of art. I found this McLaren puffer vest for $7. Oh, well, that's. It's pretty nice. Really a cool find. It's not like super good quality, but. Huh, but which it's is McLaren. weird for McLaren. But it's nice. Oh no. They're so funny. They look dolphins. Very Atlantis. I oh, know. Hey, I found these and they're like brand new. <gasps> Are they my size? They're seven and a half, but they're, you know. Well, I could probably wear those. Yeah. I know how much you like your kind of kind of Birkenstocks. They're that Cushion Air brand. I love Cushion Air. Uh oh, Feet Finder. Oh my god, those are comfy. Comfy? Yeah. They don't look too bad. Very hippie. Crunchy. Crunchy, like I'm my, a crunchy. Like my Crocs. Whoa, I'm here. I saw that. Escher, right? That's Escher. I know, it was Escher. I saw you they picked it up from a distance. Isn't that cool? This is so sick. It's a poster, but it's so cool. Like, you should get this for your office. Yeah, I want that. It's so How much cool. is it? 13. 13 bucks? I want it. That's I think so you sick. Have this. Yeah. Just because. Did you see this bowl? I didn't even go through all that. Oh my God. We have to buy that. Look how cool it is. It's all. Hand carved. Oh my god. One piece. Feel how heavy it is. That's an alley item. Six dollars. Okay, For Allie's interior design. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's really nice. Oh my god. Look at this beautiful. It's us, because you like bowls and wood stuff. This is carved from and one tree. I'm from Africa. <laughs> piece. Like one big block. Yeah, it's sick. Here's some of the amazing paintings that Allie got at the estate sale for two dollars a piece. Most of these are 70s and she really, really scored. We are gonna keep these for our own house. Allie is super excited about them. They are super cool. Oh my God, really? Rude. Can you? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, I was trying to film this. No big deal. Made it up to the warehouse, just barely, thankfully, because as I pulled up to the, the road right next to our warehouse, my car started going crazy and I could physically hear the air rushing out of my back tire. So my tire is very, very flat. Unfortunately, Teslas don't have spare tires and I don't have a jack here. So I think Allie's gonna have to come bring me a jack from home. We'll have to pop the tire off and um, go get a new tire. <laughs> All right, thankfully our neighbor had a jack. This car has self-adjusting airbag suspension, so I gotta pop it into jack mode. Okay, car. I got it up. This tire is absolutely shredded. I obviously need to check my tires more. I checked the other three and they seem to be pretty good, but this one is like bald almost. And I'll show you when I get the tire off, but the thing, got, the thing is shredded. Perspective is key, guys and girls. Things could be way, way worse. We're happy, we're fine, we can handle situations like this. You know, we have emergency funds ready for when stuff like this happens. So what's the old saying? Hope for the best, prepare for the worst, right? Caps come off. Luckily, there's no lock. I don't think there's a lock on these. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Oh yeah, we good, we good. Oh, I already worked out today. Didn't need to do this. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, I don't know. It looks like it looks like the tire wasn't balanced right and it was rubbing really bad. Oh my gosh, look at that. I got really lucky that it didn't blow out on the highway. Well, fun way to start the day. I had lots and lots of fun plans for today, but that kind of threw a little bit of a wrench, pun intended, in my plans. <laughs> I'll take the tire to a shop, get a new tire, put on the rim. Again, thank goodness for good neighbors who have stuff that I needed. But yeah, I think um, I'll just pop a new tire on there and we'll be back on the way. And then I'm gonna set an appointment with Tesla so they can check out the rest of everything else just to make sure it's all okay. But hey, it is what it is. Well, thank goodness Allie got this truck from her brother for $20. <laughs> That's a true story, by the way. I uh, just dropped my tire off at the shop. They're gonna pop a new one on there. I think it's gonna be like $380 or something like that. Not too bad for the type of tire it is. It's one of those like quiet, quiet insert run flat type tires. So anyway, not too bad. There's a Goodwill store in the same parking lot as the tire repair shop. Should I do it? Yeah, I'm going to. I just spent $374 on a tire, so maybe I can go find something to help recoup some of that monies. Well, definitely not worth $370, but nice little vintage Garth Brooks shirt for five bucks, single stitch, dated 94. Nice little piece, definitely picking it up. Yeah, like I said, not gonna pay for the tire, but not gonna turn down five dollars into probably thirty-five forty. I forgot my car keys at home. <laughs> I can use my phone as a key though, so I think I'm okay. Mission accomplished ish. Well, I guess accomplished. Tires on, everything looks good. Don't do that again, Tesla. Don't do that again. I do also have to keep in mind that I bought this car new June 4th, 2019. So it's crazy, it's almost four years old and I've put 76,000 miles on the car. And in that time, we've only had to replace tires, washer fluid, I think that's it. Have we had to do anything else on this car? I think that's it. No oil changes, no gas, so. Pretty good for 76,000 miles. Well, hello. So I wanted to kind of end today's video just by saying a quick little thing. Today is Monday, April the 3rd. So it's exactly a week after my not so great Monday and everything is totally fine now. The car is fine. It was just a, you know, it was a bad day, but we all have bad days. But here's what I wanted to say. Sometimes as positive as we want to be, Sometimes it's okay to just have a bad day. When that whole situation happened for me on Monday, I sent a message to, uh, we have like a friend group, and I don't remember exactly what I said, but I said something like, I was having a bad day. And one of my good friends, and he's an awesome guy, he's always like super, super positive, and the thing that he sent back to me was, think of all the things you're grateful for, you have a good family, you have good friends, you have all this stuff, and listen, again, I'm the type of person who typically is a very positive person, and I always can see, the positive stuff, I wake up, I try to think of all the things that I'm grateful for. That's kind of ingrained in me, but sometimes just keep in mind, like that's not what your friends want to hear. <laughs> they want to hear sometimes, that sucks, dude. Like it'll get better. You know what I mean? Not everybody is Tony Robbins. Not everybody lives their life like that, where it's, you have to always stay positive to the point where you are faking your positivity. I agree that it's a great thing to always try to find the silver lining and stuff. But in the same aspect, as I've gotten older, I've found that having that fake positivity, just putting a smile on for, for you know, no reason and not ever acknowledging that bad stuff does happen is also not the right thing to do. So just keep that in mind. Bad things do happen and it's okay to acknowledge sometimes that you had a sh day, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and things do get better. You know, like I said, it's a week later, things are great. I'm actually sitting outside of a Goodwill right now because that's how I typically like to start my Mondays is by going and sourcing and just getting the day started the right way. So that's what I'm about to do. But thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you haven't yet, we are so close to hitting 200,000 subscribers. We may have already hit it actually by the time this video goes out. But I just want to say thank you guys for all your support. 
Thank you for subscribing and commenting and doing all the YouTube stuff that does help us, you know, continue to create content. It gives us motivation to continue to create content. So thank you all so much and we will we'll see you on the next one. Later. Bye.